2023 is here and we're going to optimize Final Fantasy for you with three macros and two tips in no particular order that are going to change the way you play this game. Number one, searching your inventory. Many of you have and had no idea that you can search your inventory of retainers, armory chests, personal items. You simply have to type in the chat window forward slash I search and then your item. If you're using a broader item like silver ingot, then you're going to get a lot of the items with the name silver in it that you own. So if you are a veteran and especially a crafter and gatherer, you may have a lot to sort through. If you use a more specific item like pewter ore, you can see that it's a much smaller list. Also be mindful that this shows you what you have in stock. We can see this by eye searching verdant partition and it's showing no results. If I buy one, which I did for this video, so please hit that like button to support my loss of gill for content purposes. After I buy one and then use the eye search command, you can now see that it shows up. This is one of my most used features in games since I'm always crafting items for submarines and not realizing that I already had it in my inventory buried in a retainer somewhere. Number two, the new updated sprint macro. Looking and scouring through Reddit, I have seen the traditional sprint macro we all love and use. Well, most of us. There is a completely brand new one that is far better and uses Mount Roulette, Sprint, and Peloton. I couldn't really find this in Reddit anywhere, so I wanted to make sure to share it with you guys. How it works is if you can mount, you will mount first. If you can't, then you'll cast Sprint. If you can't sprint or sprints on cooldown and you are a bard, machinist, or dancer, then you will be able to cast Peloton. This is very handy as it covers all the situations whether you're out in the world or in a dungeon. Bonus tip for controller players such as myself who play on PC but play with the controller, you can assign this to your R3 or L3. You simply go into system configuration, controller, and go down to button configuration. Find the R3 and L3, click on the menu and scroll all the way down to where it should say assign macro 98 and 99. Now when you make the macro in the user macro settings, you need to make sure it is on one of these numbers as they can be assigned to controller. Once assigned, you can simply press R3 and have the best macro for movement in your arsenal. My more favorite recent macro number three, thanks to a Patreon member, Kevin McChubbs in my Discord, shared the I sort macro with me last month. I was skeptical at first because other than my inventory, I didn't think I would actually use this for anything. I didn't realize that this is very effective for armory situations. I use this primarily for sorting for two main reasons in my armory. One for item level descending, which means it will sort from highest item level to lowest. This is very important for me recently with all the relic farming I've been doing. All relics have a purple background and sometimes I get lost with which weapon I need for which step. Using the item level sort command, I can now see my current relics, which are Manderville for every job at the very top, and then see the few relics I'm working for, which are either Zodiac or Anima, which go to the bottom of the armory chest since they are far lower item level. This also just keeps everything organized and keeps very current stuff to the top of the list. The other way I use this I sort macro is for spirit bonding. Now we have a way to see spirit bonding easily, which will be the next tip, but it does not show the armory chest. So I have I sort armory chest by spirit bond so I can easily see if there's any 100% that is ready to be extracted. This is super easy way to maximize material extraction for multiple jobs and make sure you don't miss out on some you may have. Speaking of spirit bonding, this leads me to my second tip, which is number four on this list. I am back using the inventory grid. I never used it much before and just thought it irrelevant, but it has a ton of information that is very helpful for late game Final Fantasy XIV. The inventory grid is represented by all these dots. The blue dots represent incomplete stacks. The red dots represent complete stacks or one-off items like housing items that do not stack. And the green dots represent armory or gear in your inventory. If you notice, we also have the dots to the left that are kind of off-centered, which represent your character's gear you're currently wearing. You can click on any of these if you have a mouse to instantly open up the section of the retainer or your current character gear. This can also show you which gear is ready to be extracted for Spirit Bond. If I switch to my Paladin, you can see these dots turn white. This means Spirit Bond is at 100%, which means it's time for extraction. There are so many things to keep track of in this game and it's just an easy way to keep up to date on small things that can make you a lot of money later on, like selling stacks of materia on the market board. 
Lastly, this one is a little niche, but I main Sage most of the time when I play healer and I get tired of constantly having to type in the chat, say hello and applying Cardia. So I just combine the two. Now, this takes a party list setup change to be consistent. You can change how your party list is displayed by going to character configuration, UI settings and party list. This section is basically saying whatever role you're playing, then that's how your party list order is going to be. This offers flexibility for when you move between different jobs or roles. Let's focus on healer though. Now for this to be consistent, you need to put your party list order as tank, healer, DPS. The reason is because no matter if you're on a 4-man content, 8-man content, or 24-man content, the tanks will always be the second or third on your list. So this macro will put Cardia on the second person in your party, which will always be the tank with this setting set up the way it is. Now if you are in 8-man content and the first tank is the off tank, you can just switch manually. Personally though, there are two healers and it won't really matter if you have Cardia on the main tank or the off tank as long as you have Cardia on. Between all the healing that goes on usually anyway with your OGCDs and whatever healer you're paired with, I really wouldn't stress about it. Also, thank you to Discord member and Patreon member Kaler for being a lovely gentleman bun and letting me record you for this video. These are my 5 huge tips and macros for going into 2023. If you got any value out of this video, please give it a like to push it out to more people and support the channel. You can also limit break that subscribe button to get notified of all my new videos coming out every week. If you want to join an amazing Discord community, you can find that link down below. Or if you want to watch more Final Fantasy guides and tutorials, then you can click here.